I'm joined by Ryan McCormick with Invesco QQQ, and I am going to test your financial literacy. Are you ready? Let's go, Taylor. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you sound ready. Let's do it. Are ETFs and stocks the same thing? A, yes, they are both investments, or B, no. ETFs are like a basket of stocks that helps you diversify by owning fractional shares of different companies. So the answer is B, ETFs. Sounds like it. Right? Uh, owning fractional shares, exposure to a bunch of different yep. companies. This all seemed, you know, so extensive. How did you learn to invest? I mean, I'm still learning, to be honest with you, right? I mean, it changes every single day, every year. There's kind of new, new things that you can invest in and new vehicles that allow you to invest in that stuff. Growing up, I was a big sports fan. So like seeing who got a contract with which company, a piece of sports equipment that I was using a bunch. And then eventually, you know, as technology became more and more pervasive, like what technologies I was using. So kind of got to know certain companies and that's sort of what led me into, well, these companies are publicly traded and you can invest in them. And you know, from there it just sort of blossomed. And like I said, I'm still learning every day. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so what signs do you look for before investing? So. It, it's hard, right? Because you never want to time the market, right? Like you can get very cute with trying to say, okay, everything is perfect and now's the time, right? Because like there's not some neon sign that goes off and says invest now. Yeah. So generally what I look for is that I'm in a comfortable enough place to allocate the money to invest in, right? Investing is longer term in nature. So I have to feel comfortable with, I don't need to access this money at least for the long term, right? Not tomorrow, not the next day, not the next week. And that's sort of when I feel comfortable ready to go and enter the market. Yeah. Okay, so you just touched on this a little bit, but are there things to avoid while you're investing? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think people, a lot of times will get investing and trading confused, mm. right? So investing is, is long-term, right? Mm. You're, you're, you're taking a longer-term commitment to, to building wealth, mm -hmm. investing in companies that you think have the potential to grow over time. And I think especially recently, everybody's kind of looking for, all right, this is how I can make a quick buck. I want to trade this stock. I want to trade this company. And I think that's one thing that I try to avoid, right? I try to yeah. keep that longer term mindset and no keep- No shortcuts. No, no yeah. shortcuts. Keep investing kind of the way it's intended, longer term. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for, for your words and, and your time. Make sure you check out hntsam.com for more financial literacy knowledge.